wanna be so you gotta yeah. go berserk. Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and wanna see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Wanna keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that wanna keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, huh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Dre. You gon' have to pay for way. Jugging on the main stage with the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Baltimore Ravens. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. First down, Baltimore. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Gilmore. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football in the backfield, and be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. 46-yard line. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. Yard on the play. And it's third down. Jackson flushed out right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. John Simon make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And that's the first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And now Edelman. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line.
Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Derek Wolf there on the tackle. Brings up well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 31, Newton, this is White on the screen. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Cam throwing complete here to Edelman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. The Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton, eluding the pressure right, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket got to the sticks and picked up the first down. First down, here's White. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. A gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Throwing on third down, Newton. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. On the return, the Ravens take over first and ten at their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. 
make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Second and six. From the 25, here's second and six. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got a day room complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Complete to Mark. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. From the gun, Jackson. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. So this punt sails out of bounds across midfield. Now the question there, going to spot it right at the 40, the 40-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Off play action, Newton. Rolling to his right. Going deep here for Adam. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Julian Edelman with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. 10 0 the score after one on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Chris Moore returning it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. At their own 23 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10 to throw again. Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Jackson and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and into a double team and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Dante Hightower. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. From the 28, it's second and five. The handoff. This is White. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. Here's Newton. He'll fight his tight end here, Asiasi. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 46-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Newton. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Newton on third down. The pass complete. It's Bird. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It's the first time that they looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Clay Matthews adding another sack to his impressive NFL resume. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Here's Newton. Looking for Harry. He airs it. Up. It's caught inside the 25. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0 our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's going to go for a big... And got his man complete. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Pass. Devin Duvernay, 79 yards. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. 
Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 41-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now a give to White. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to... the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On third down, Newton, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Returning it is Moore. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Forced out to his left. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Jackson. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As they stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second at a country mile. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. It's third. Down. 
an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the All-Pro, Stephon Gilmore. Jackson's pass intercepted. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Brings up third down and seven. To throw on third down. Newton. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. They're on 36-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. Complete a big play that time for the Ravens. 53 yards. First down, Baltimore. Now a first and 10 at the 11. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Clinton Dix brought him down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second and seven, Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Devin Duvernay. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Jameer Bird on the return. The Patriots take over first and ten at their own 35-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. and four at the 41-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Check, check. To throw is Newton. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. 
And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now a first down throw for Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see a point in communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. What we got? What we got? Now Newton on first down. Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. Throwing again. Newton. And it's complete to White. Five yards, now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Gun on third down. Newton. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 47-yard line. Jackson now. And this one incomplete. Jack, too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. After the incompletion here now, third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. Pass the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Mark Ingram with touchdown number eight on the year as the Ravens push further out in front. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half. That Patriots got done. 10. Tucker able to connect on the extra Justin point, Tucker and that makes it a 21-10 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Demir Bird on the return. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails for him. They go right back to White here on first down. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. He was brought down by... Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 50, Newton. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. 24-yard line. Newton on first down. This is White on the screen. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Out of bounds at the 18-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back to throw, Newton. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A loss of two. Michelle going to try again. At the five-yard line. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Loss Sets up third down and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Newton now to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A four-yard pickup. Not enough. Fourth down. Now that's a catch of some significance. It's number 631 of his career, and why that's significant, it ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. He was one of the most precise route runners at any position during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Barry, but he goes about his business the same way. Understands how defenses are going to play, understands what the leverage is, and goes away from it to the tune of 631 catches. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. It's worth noting when you talk about Jackson's running ability that Baltimore wide receivers had just over 1,400 receiving yards combined last year. And Charles, that was the fewest yards by a wide receiver group in the NFL since 2011. And partner, I expect that number to go up this year. Last season, Lamar Jackson got very comfortable with his tight end group. In fact, he had one tight end that went to the Pro Bowl. But I think now, because of his ability to run the ball, it'll bring defenders closer to the line of scrimmage, and you'll see more big plays from the wide receivers downfield. Again on second and 10, it's Jackson. This one complete to Ingram. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. Third and four. And this crowd urging on their defense. They're up and making noise. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first and 10, Newton. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. From the gun, here's Newton. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. Incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. New England on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is going to be third and 13. Disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Watch the whip. 20. Great, great, great. They snap it to Newton. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. Then he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. And a Raven first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by the All-Pro, Stephon Gilmore. Jackson. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. Defense. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp throwing on third down Newton 
He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here we go on four. Newton. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Back to throw. And he'll set up the bubble screen to Edelman here. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. How about the call to come with the blitz there in this situation? And some of those calls happen just because of what they do on offense. So when they send out a number of people in the pattern, sometimes they just make a change on defense. Say, okay, we'll come after you instead. And that's exactly what they did. He's going to let it fly. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Marlon. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's fourth down. Fourth down, Newton. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He uncorks it for Sneed. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And now it's second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Jackson. He's going to try and go deep again. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. It's third down. And 10 yards to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him? And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Matt Judon in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. 
After the sack on first down, Newton throw caught here by Bird. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. 48 yard line. One last throw here for Newton. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Tonight's final score. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So for the Ravens, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
on the play. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. Flag on the play. Hold up. That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touch down. I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped a bag on the tag. He ain't nothing. Make on throw a flag when I pass. Come through stunning. Call me tired, girl. and hit the hole. Then I ran it. Get money. Let's go. You ain't trying to get that second flag on the play. Hating from the sideline. A flag. Just like Tom Brady. Brady. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. 